Don't tell me. Can you not hear me? Hi, Gare. Dario, you sound great. All right, thank you very much, sir. Never sounded better. So listen, we're going into the battle in Seattle, looking for angles, looking for rivalries, as if we have to pump it up more. But let's talk a little bit about where this all started. A lot of people think, and they call it, it's no big deal, but the, the what's your deal game was the start, right, for Jim Harbaugh and Pete Carroll? Yeah, Harbaugh was at Stanford and Carroll was at USC, and Carroll thought that... Uh, Harbaugh ran the score up on him last uh, last time, or not last time, but when they their last game in college. Right, so it's 55-21. Carroll goes up. What's your deal? Harbaugh says, "What's your deal?" I love that. Yeah. Anyway, it actually goes back farther. There's another little tidbit. In in uh, it was the 04 to 06 season when Jim Harbaugh was at University of San Diego, and he tried to recruit Pete Carroll's son as quarterback. Well, uh, you, will you stop researching? Can you it makes the rest of us look bad. You you know I love this stuff. So little Nate is there, and now now Carol wasn't at home at the time. It was the wife that handled this recruit uh, trip. So Harbaugh's there trying to get him. Of course, he ended up going up where USC, right? Okay. The kid, he goes to USC, and now he's an offensive assistant. Now uh, was, was Carol coaching at uh, USC then? No, Carol. Carol was away at that time. Yes, he was. Okay. So so the kid. I mean, what kind of a? So you got Harbaugh walking in trying to recruit my son? Cause that's a big difference in. Uh, you know, in style of play. I mean, you know, USC is at the top, and San Diego is a kind of a smaller football program. Well, and, and so the kid ended up in philosophy, and he ended up going to USC, and now he's going to be at the... So it's a big family. Everybody will see each other again. But it, does the story go that that upset Carol? Well, no, he ended up at USC, and it was not. But it's just, it kind of, it's funny how they they collide. In fact, you know, so now they go into when they were both coaches, USC and Stanford. By the way, Carroll only won one of those three times he faced Harbaugh. All right, that's a that's a cute story. I had never heard that. One. Yeah. So in now, all my <laughs> research, I'm gonna have to go through my notes. You need later. people. So we got so all right. So we got the rubber match, right? Yes. We go into this now, and. It, I just think You're that... You're pretty proud of yourself with that story. Huh? I am, but I no, I just, I love the backgrounds here, and I'm reading more and more quotes now about Carol and what he says. Oh, Jim Harbaugh, he's, you know, he's very good, but I still feel like he's like patronizing Harbaugh because you know what he gives this quote like uh, uh, oh I used to coach against Jim's dad Jack Harbaugh in the Big Ten and I feel like it's his way of saying oh you're a little boy I don't know it just bugged me you know what I mean you can do it's like anything else Harbaugh right now if he's not on top he's near the top and uh, you know all I'm saying is when things are going a certain guy's way like they have been going for Harbaugh yes. for three years yes. you can say stuff and it and, and just rolls off your back. Now, if Carol had had the upper hand on Harbaugh okay. for three years, then, it would then, bug then you might take, you know what I mean? Like, you can say anything to me, and I don't care because of my stature. Because you're gone. on top. You're on top. At Tron, uh, yes. It's and, a wonderful place to be. And here's another By the thing. Way, my gosh, you're, I, have, I need another clothing allowance. Well, yeah, I was going to say, here's another thing. I'm sort of your TV wife, not your TV wife. I'm your TV girlfriend. Yeah. And, and girlfriends and wives, they could say anything. Well, you're and, lucky my wife's taking the kids <laughs> to school right now. They'd be <laughs> so grief. But you know, your but, wife. Uh, at least she still thinks people are, look, women are looking at me, and I keep telling her it's, it's over, Gia. Relax. You know what? Let me call her. So here, here's the thing, though. The You'll wife, sure the girlfriend, to to her. Yeah. We, can, we can say anything. And Harbaugh's wife did. She calls in on a radio show in San Francisco, and she says, you know what? Those darn khaki pleated pants, I tried to burn them. She's like, I, I got rid of them a million times. He keeps getting them. He goes to Target and gets, uh, you know, 10 more pair of eight, oh, sorry, Walmart, $8 what pants. What show was this that she, she called in on? She called, she called into an FM radio show, and she goes, you know, because they were like bashing on Harbaugh and what he wears. Yeah. She goes, "Listen, don't blame me for the for the khakis. Okay. I hate those pleated khakis. I've tried to get rid of them." And she threw them out after the combine one time. And she <laughs> says he ran to Walmart and bought all new ones. Oh, that's a funny one. <laughs> I, know, he does, but, he, I mean, that's no joke. I no. don't think I've ever seen him at practice or yeah. in a game in anything different. And but you know what? Like a good husband, she said, "Honey, please, next year, will you have me or somebody else dress you? I don't care." And you know what he said? Yes. 
Oh, next year. He said next year. He said next year. Because marriage, you got the give and take, right? And you know the famous wife that I love, Giselle. Yes. Who can do no wrong. So it gets oh, better. Oh, you're going to love this then. We've it got Brady's father coming on. Yeah, I know you do. And it, see, here's the thing is, with this couple, it doesn't get any better than this. So Tommy's all focused for this weekend right against Manning and the Patriots and the Broncos. Giselle has this new interview and Giselle says this is the best quote in the history of wives at night if my you want me to do the accent Wait, at, night, <laughs> at night if my husband is watching TV and watching football I have my little book and I put something in my ears so I don't hear it and I put my light on and I have my book and I'm like oh he's feeding his soul and that's important to him to watch football I only watch football if Tom is playing uh. Well, I'm glad you're showing that picture, too. I'm going to ask uh, Tom's dad, who's a really great guy from San Mateo. Yeah. I'm going to say, now, come on. Your, uh, your daughter-in-law makes him cut his hair like that. Huh? But how can she ask him seriously? How can she be this? I want to marry her. How can she be this perfect? Oh, my. Daria, will you stop? People look at you and they, oh, my gosh. But they don't know you behind the I, scenes. Well, you might be better than you are on TV. She's beautiful. She's rich. Oh. She loves Tom. Tommy and he loves her. Yeah, All right, you, you talk know. to the dad. She, she's grouchy in the morning. <laughs> you talk to the dad tomorrow on Sports Night with Gary. Okay, you're right. Boy, you're on fire today. <laughs> we'll see you, Gary. On fire.